Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic eye. Eyes are some of the most important facial features, so we're going to learn how to draw these in detail to work towards drawing a realistic portrait. Just follow along with this video to see how to do it. All you'll need today is a pencil, a piece of paper, and a growth mindset. Okay, I know this looks creepy, but I do have a point in showing you this. The first thing to know when you're drawing an eye is that the part of the eye we see on the face really is just part of a larger eyeball. And as we know, an eyeball is a sphere. So we are going to begin by drawing something similar to the picture I just showed you. We will start with a circle. Notice that I'm drawing super light. That's because this is more of a guide than anything. I'm not going to keep all of these lines. My next circle is going to be just about half the size of my first one. This is the iris, or the colored part of your eye. Again, I'm drawing really, really, really light because I'm just sketching in the basic shapes right now. And the very last circle I'm going to draw is the pupil. So that's going to be an even smaller circle on the very inside. Again, drawing nice and light just so I can get that shape down. Now it's time to draw the actual eye shape. When you're looking at someone's eyes when they're relaxed, you won't see the whole entire iris. The top eyelid usually covers a little bit of that. So I'm going to draw the top eyelid in a slightly arched shape that reaches all the way across my eyeball. It's a little bit below the top of my iris and it's inside that biggest circle. Now I'm going to draw the bottom of my eye. The bottom will come just below the iris. It could touch it, but it's not super far away. I'm also adding a tear duct. That shape is the only shape that will be outside of that first circle we drew. And now we can erase anything that is not part of our eye. So all that we're left with is our eye shape that we can now add some details and value to. And remember, value is what's really going to make something look realistic and give it its form. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape for the highlight. Our eyes are pretty shiny, so light reflects off of them. The most common highlight shapes are a circle or a rectangle. And as you can see, I'm placing mine so it's halfway on the pupil and halfway on the iris. And now I'm going to just go ahead and color my pupil in as dark as I can. Pupils, unless you have a condition that makes it otherwise, are always black. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go around and finalize some of the lines that I've already drawn. So I'm just drawing a darker line where I know that shape is definitely going to be. I went ahead and did that on my iris and as well as the entire shape of my eye. And now is also the time, if you would like to, to change your eye shape. So some people have more angular eyes, some people have rounder eyes, some people have bigger eyes, smaller eyes. Um, you can make it whatever shape eye you would like. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw my upper eyelid. This is actually just the crease where your skin folds when you open your eyes, and the placement of this really depends on the person. Mine, in real life, are very low. You can barely even see them, but in this drawing, I decided to just place them a little bit more above the eye. And I've also drawn it nice and light for now. Next, we're going to draw the details in the iris. Remember, that's the colored part of your eye. If you look at these super close-up pictures, you can see that it's not just a solid color, but there's a ton of different values going on within the iris. In order to show this detail, I'm going to use my pencil and just work my way around the pupil in kind of like a, a sunburst or a starburst pattern. So just kind of randomly making lines, different lengths that are kind of radiating from my eye. I'm also coloring in my pupil a little bit darker to show more contrast. Next, I'm actually just going to quickly add a shadow right underneath the eyelid on my iris. So your eyelids do cast shadows on your eyes. So there's a shadow. And now I'm going to kind of recreate that starburst pattern, but instead I'm going to work my way around the inside of the iris. And it kind of mirrors that first starburst design that I did. Next, I'm going to use my finger, but 
a Q-tip or a tissue would probably be best, but I'm using my finger to just kind of blend all of that out. And the reason why a Q-tip or tissue would be best is because it looks like I over blended it. What that means is I kind of lost some of that detail. So I'm gonna go back in with my pencil and just kind of redefine those starburst patterns. But now I do have a nice light value in between that kind of shows more detail in the iris. And now just a little bit of tear duct detail. I'm going to use my pencil and kind of shade the edges of it. Just get that outline shape and then add a little mark in the middle. That just adds some depth to it. Next, I'm gonna add the overall value. So remember, everything here is kind of based on a sphere. So those edges are gonna have a little bit of a darker value. And I'm also going back in and kind of carving out that eyelid shape there and using my finger to blend a little bit. And I'm gonna add a little bit of value to the corners of the actual eye itself as well. Like I said, remember, this is a sphere shape, so those edges are kind of falling off into shadow. Now let's add some eyelashes. And yes, men do have eyelashes too. Make sure you're not just drawing them straight up, but you're starting at that top line of the eye. And eyelashes generally do have a little bit of a curved shape. So they go out and down a little bit and then up. So you're not drawing perfectly straight lines. If you want to make them longer or darker, you can go back over a second time and just layer more lashes to make them some lashes that appear a little bit thicker. And for my last detail on the upper lashes, I'm just going to add a little bit of darker value right on the lash line to kind of show a little more depth again. Another thing to remember is that people do have a lower lash line. So to draw this, I'm starting by just making a thin line that kind of outlines the bottom. And then those lower lashes tend to be a little bit shorter and more sparse, but I'm kind of following the same um, line style as I did on my upper lashes. And just adding some of those down there. And now I'm going to add my eyebrow. And remember, eyebrows come in a ton of different shapes, sizes, thicknesses, thinnesses, colors, and all of that. But I'm just gonna start by kind of drawing a line that arches over top of my eye. Some people's eyebrows don't really arch very much at all. Um, some people have more straight or flat eyebrows. Some people have very arched eyebrows. It really just depends on the person. But one thing to remember is that eyebrows are made up of hair. So what I'm drawing here is I'm just drawing individual hairs. I'm not drawing a solid color here or anything at all, but if I wanted to make it darker, what I would do is I would just layer more hair or more lines on top of that. And I'm gonna spend some time just refining and adding a little bit more details to certain areas. So my eyelid, I want it to be a little bit darker. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add just a little bit bit more value above my top eyelid and blend that out because you would have a little bit of a shadow underneath your brow bone. You'd also have a bit of a shadow underneath um, the bottom of your eye, so kind of along that lower lash line, there should be a little bit more value as well. And these last few details I'm doing are really just um, trying to add a little more contrast. So. I'm going to go ahead and add um, some more layers on my eyebrows to make my eyebrows a bit darker. And I'll also add a little more depth to the iris of my eye by going around one more time and kind of darkening the very edge of the iris and also adding in more of those textured lines. And one last shadow I'm going to define is the shadow that is cast by your eyelid on top of your eye. So right along that top edge, I just added a little bit of pencil to create that shadow. And now here is my completed realistic eye. Remember to be patient with yourself while you work on these. You're just starting and this is practice. Use that growth mindset and have fun.